Welcome to Thick Boy Fight News. Let's dive in. The UFC 280 mega card is less than a month away, and things are heating up as fighters make the media rounds. Sean O'Malley, the 12th ranked bantamweight, will take on number one ranked Pyotr Jan in Abu Dhabi. Jan is by far the toughest challenge for O'Malley, and Topico Sportsbook has Jan as a plus 280 favorite. In a recent interview with Helen Yi, O'Malley said he's surprised he's the underdog and expects Jan to bring out the best in him. I think if you ask the smartest guys, the best fighters in the world, what do you guys think? You know, they're like, oh, I don't know. It's a tough one, but you ask like the casuals and it's like, oh, Peter's gonna smoke him. He's you know three to one underdog or whatever. But I think I I'm a little surprised, but I also it doesn't. I kind of get it from other people's perspectives. But you know, I, I believe I'm better than Peter Yan, and I believe I'm gonna go out there and, and beat his ass. So I guess I am kind of surprised. Bo Nickel returns to Dana White's Contender Series tonight as he will try for the second time to earn a contract to the UFC. Despite a dominating submission win in his first fight on the popular show, Dana White opted not to give Nickel a contract, instead wanting him to fight again to earn more experience. In stark contrast, White did offer a contract to 17-year-old Raul Rosas Jr. last week, which caused many in the media to feel like Nickel got robbed. In a recent appearance on Full Send, Nickel reacted to Rosas Jr getting a contract before him. I don't really care. Do your thing. Good for you. The youngest fighter on the roster. Congratulations. That's amazing. Amazing accomplishment. I'm not really one to hate at all, so do your thing. That's dope. I'm on my own path. My path, I'm comfortable with it, and I know where I'm headed and my trajectory, where I'm going, so I'm not really worried about anyone else. Seeing these young guys succeed, that hypes me up. I want everybody to win. So for me, at the end of the day, I focus on what I can control and go out there and do what I need to do. Nickel then went on to say that after he takes care of business tonight, he'd like to make his official UFC debut before the year ends. 100% you'll see me in the UFC octagon, probably December. I'm looking at obviously this first fight, take care of business, do what I need to do, and then from there, I want to stay active. I want to fight as much as possible, get experience, and you'll 100% see me in an octagon before the end of the year. One 161 is set to air Thursday morning for American audiences and will feature a featherweight Muay Thai World Championship bout as the main event. Pet Morikot will defend his belt against Tawan Chai. Pet Morikot has been holding the belt since 2020 and has three successful defenses to his name, but according to Tawan Chai, this will be his hardest defense yet. He has defended his world title multiple times, but he's never faced anyone like me. I think I can do better than every opponent he's ever met, and I believe the belt will change its owner this time. If I win the world title, that means my dreams will come true. Tawan Chai has been a highlight machine since joining the promotion and looks to add another. I'm glad that my fans love me and expect me to treat them with knockout again. When I competed in Thailand, I rarely knocked my opponent out because my style is technical, not aggressive. But since I've joined one, I changed my style to be more aggressive and fans love it. My fan base has expanded. This motivates me to try to win by knockout in my next fights. Changes stances in. Oh, Looking for more original MMA content? Check out the rest of Thick Boy YouTube. Exclusive interviews, opinion, and fight analysis is available weekly on The Shop Show, Food Truck Diaries, and Fight Night Flashbacks. Subscribe so you don't miss any of the action.